everybody, it's Cooper here, and I've got another pickup video for you. Now, my 2,000 subscriber contest is still going on, so if you haven't seen the video, it's the, the most recent video I uploaded before this one, so please check it out and enter if you'd like. So, um, in the meantime, I, I give two weeks for the contest to run, so I thought that I would do a pickup video in between them. And... I have a decent amount of stuff here to show you guys. I have stuff from eBay, from Craigslist, from a YouTuber, and from some friends who I've got some stuff from before. Um, and there's a lot of promo stuff in there, so very awesome. I'm excited to show you guys. So first up, off of eBay, I picked up five of these batteries, which are the batteries that go in the Pokemon games for the Game Boy and the Game Boy Color. And I ordered a game bit with them so I could open up the cartridges. And when I got the package, it was ripped open and the bit was gone. So I contacted the seller and they said that they're replacing it, no problem. So I'm just waiting on that. And I do have a bunch of games now that I need to replace the batteries in. So I probably have to buy more of these, but those came in. Um, let's see. This is a little Craigslist deal that I did. Um, I haven't tested these yet, but... I got The Legend of Zelda, Oracle of Ages, and then these are the two that I'm just a little worried about, but since I have the batteries now, not so much. I got Pokemon uh, Silver version, with some writing on the back, and also Pokemon Crystal version, with the same writing on the back. Um, but like I said, I haven't tested these yet, but when I was texting the person, um, I asked them if they could if they could turn them on and tell me if it says continue or if it just says new game. They told me that they both said continue, so hopefully they work, but if not, really not a big deal because I did get the batteries and they're pretty cheap. Um, I paid uh, 30 bucks for the three of them, which is more than I would have liked to pay, but um, you know I can still make a decent profit off that. I should be able to sell it for about maybe 50 to 60 somewhere around there for the three um, once they're in saving condition um, next up is a big Craigslist deal I did um, I'll just jump into it, there's a lot of stuff here first up is an NES it's pretty dirty um, but other than that it's not like cracked or anything so I guess it's in okay shape that came with two controllers bundled together there and I guess that came with no cables. I don't really remember a lot about the deal because this was like a couple weeks ago that I did this. Um, also got a Nintendo 64 with both cables there. And it came with an expansion pack, which is cool. That came with four controllers. We have one off-brand uh, piece of junk there. One here, good joystick, one here, good joystick, and third one here, joystick's pretty loose on that one. Got an orange zapper for the NES, two tremor packs, um, two, two memory cards, uh, I think they're both performance brand, but one of them is, uh, one of them is missing the label. Then got one of these for the Nintendo 64 to hook up an RF. Next is a blue SP and also a tribal edition SP. And when I was doing the deal, they told me it was silver. They didn't tell me it was the tribal one, which is an official limited edition system. So that's cool. It's worth a little bit more, not too much though. And both of those came with their chargers. Also got a zip up uh, carrying case for the SP, and then got two car chargers, um, a wireless adapter, which is like a third party. Um, this I don't even know what this is supposed to be. It's like a little adapter for the SP. It has the plug on one side. It has like a headphone jack and the same plug on the other side and then a link cable and this extremely cheap 
um, magnifying glass, which is like, I could, I could bust this, I could just break this in half really easily. It's extremely flimsy and cheap. Uh, it's made by Dream Gear. All these little accessories and um, the carrying case and the wireless thing, they're all Dream Gear, so I'm assuming they just bought like a bundle of stuff. And then there was a manual for Pac-Man Dream Collection. Don't really know why that was in there. And then also a precautions manual. And then I guess this is a screen protector. And then, what is this? A Game Boy Advance SP Player's Dozen Instruction Manual. I think this is a manual that goes with all the accessories they bought. And then, got some games with that bundle as well. Uh, first up for the Game Boy is Nicktoons Racing. And then... I guess that's the only kind of cheapo game uh, for the NES. Got Excite Bike, Punch Out, Super Mario Bros. 3, and The Legend of Zelda. For the Super Nintendo, just got one game, Donkey Kong Country. And then a good stack of N64 games here. <coughs> Uh, try and save the best for last, like always. First is Diddy Kong Racing. Golden Eye. Donkey Kong 64. Daikatana. Super Mario 64. Ocarina of Time. Mario Kart 64. And the best one, Conquer's Bad Fur Day. Now, I honestly do not remember how much I paid for that entire bundle, and, like, I have no clue. It was, it was a while ago now, um, but whatever I paid, it was a good deal. <laughs> uh, next up, this is the last stuff I have to show you from eBay. I was looking in the new, newly listed Buy It Now stuff, um, and I came across these, and... They're both factory sealed Nintendo 64 games, and I've checked them out, and they're definitely legit seals. And they were listed at buy it now prices, which are very low um, for these in the condition they're in. Um, I paid 20 and 22 with free shipping on both of them, and they were shipped very well in boxes with bubble wrap and uh, packing peanuts. And the boxes were oversized and everything. They even shipped them in separate boxes, even though I bought them from the same person. Um, I already have them in plastic protectors, but the first one, which I paid 20 bucks for, is Load Runner 3D. And there's the H seam on the back there. And a, a complete copy of this game, in good shape, usually goes for between 20 to 25 dollars alone. So 20 bucks for a, for a sealed copy is very good. The second one, which was 22, is Body Harvest. And I played this game as a kid. I really liked it. I played it with my dad a lot. I haven't played it since, and I know the graphics are terrible and everything, but I thought it was a very cool sealed game to add to the collection. And I think a, co a complete copy goes for between tw uh, 15 and 20. So 22 for a sealed one is really not bad. Um, I would assume that together they're probably worth at least 30 bucks each. So. Pretty decent deal, 42 bucks with free shipping. Very awesome additions to the collection. <clears throat> Next up is a package from a YouTuber, and this actually comes from Old School Brian, and I'm pretty sure you guys know who he is, but if you don't, of course there will be a link to his channel in the, in the description. Definitely check him out, I watch his videos all the time. Whenever he uploads a video, I make sure to watch it. So, definitely check it out. And um, a while ago, he posted a video saying that he was trying to help his friend out by raising some money for him, and he was basically selling most of the stuff in his collection. Um, he was only selling stuff for a couple days, and he actually reached his goal really quickly, so I'm glad he didn't have to get rid of too much, but um, 
he had some stuff that I was interested in, so I decided to help him out. And um, after long delays with the package, which is totally understandable because of the hurricane and everything, um, finally got it in, and I'm very excited to show you guys what I got from him. So first up is a note. It says, sorry for taking so long to get this out to you. Enjoy. Danielle, Brian's wife. <clears throat> so, um, there's a couple cartridge games here that I picked up. And um, since I did buy this stuff from him a while ago, um, some of the stuff which wasn't going to be doubles is now a double. But that's okay. First up, a cartridge of Bubble Bobble. Um, I, I needed the cartridge because I had the box, but since then I've gotten my own cartridge, so that's a double now. But the other cartridge that I did need is Bible Adventures. And he told me he had a black and a blue one, and I told him whichever one he wants to send is fine. He decided to send the black one, which I think is a little harder to find. But I do have the box and manual for this, or at least the box, so finally got the cartridge. And this is an extra that he threw in, and I actually have this game boxed, but this one might be in better condition, I'm not sure. But that is a box and no manual, but there's an insert for Super Ghouls and Ghosts for the Super Nintendo. Like I said, I do have it, but <clears throat> obviously I'll keep the better condition copies. Um, and then the other extra that he threw in is an NES game, and I think, and that is Dungeon Magic, uh, Sword of the Elements. And this is complete, great shape, game I didn't have, so very awesome. There are two other NES games in this bundle. First is Jeopardy 25th Anniversary. Um, I have a different, I think I have two other, one or two other Jeopardy games, so I didn't have this one, so very cool. That one's going into the collection. And the last NES game is The Flintstones, The, Resc the Rescue of Dino and Hoppy. Very cool. <coughs> then for the Nintendo 64, we have a box rumble pack. Uh, there's no insert, but the rumble pack is in here. Um, and paperwork's in here, so that's good. Uh, the box is in great shape, and I didn't have one of these. I didn't have a North American one, at least. I have, like, a Korean one, but very glad to finally get one of these. The other Nintendo 64 game is Our Marines Project Swarm. As you can see, this one is still sealed, and um, this one is going into the collection as well. Very happy to get this. And the rest here are Super Nintendo. Now, there's two here that um, that I picked out, and we agreed on the price and everything, and then later he said that he couldn't find the cartridges for them. So these are unfortunately box and manuals only, and that's why I got the Bubble Bobble and uh, Bible Adventures cartridges instead. But these are the boxes and manuals for Bust a Move and Arrow the Acrobat 2, which is actually kind of a hard cartridge to find. I think it's about a $25 cartridge, but I will get one eventually. And then the rest are either boxed or complete Super Nintendo games. The first one here, which wasn't going to be a double but now is, is Mortal Kombat 3. But this is in pretty good shape, so it might be better than mine. Then we have Advanced Dungeons and Dragons, Eye of the Beholder. Killer Instinct, finally have a boxed copy. Uh, it says comes with the CD, but it's not in there, but it's not terribly hard to find. Next up is Battle Clash. And the last one is Hyperzone. Box is a little beat up on this one, and uh, no insert, but still glad to have it. And thank you, Brian, for the great deal on this stuff. Obviously, I'm not going to say how much it was, but he gave me a very good deal on it. Now, the last bundle of stuff I just got today, and this comes from a couple people who I've got stuff from before, and you probably remember when I picked up the big inflatable lemming, um, the people I got that from, I got all this stuff from. And I bought stuff from both of them, but I have kind of have it mixed in together here. Um, and I'll tell you at the end how much I paid. And once again, they gave me good deals, and they're very awesome, and I definitely appreciate it. So first up, a cool addition to my Nintendo 64 collection 
are these Taco Bell um, Nintendo 64 toys, and they all have their original boxes, which is very cool. It's Mario and Star Fox, Diddy, Mario Bowser, Donkey Kong, and they're like Christmas boxes. Here's the top here. This one is a little crushed. This is the, the worst condition one. And um, a couple of them were still sealed, but I did open them because, you know, they were just sealed with a little piece of packing tape or whatever. So there's the first one. It's like a puzzle. I remember these. I remember that one um, from when I was younger. And I think he said there was a full set of five, but when I opened them, there's only three different ones. Uh, there's two doubles in here, but not a big deal. The second one here is a Yoshi. Here's the box for that one, as you can see. It's a little better. Next one, it's another one of the puzzles, as you can tell. And then these two have the same toy in them, and they are... It's like Donkey Kong climbing on a tree or something. I don't know exactly what that one is, but there's two of those. So two of the puzzles, one Yoshi, and two of the Donkey Kong ones. So very awesome. Um, I don't I don't know if I'll be getting rid of the doubles uh, because they're they're boxed and they're cool, but we'll see. Uh, next is a, a boxed item for the Game Boy Advance. And this isn't official. This isn't like an official Nintendo brand item, but it's still very cool. And I've I've actually never seen one before, for the Game Boy Advance at least. And that is a TV tuner and LCD screen machine. And it's box. It's the box is in great condition. Um, they have these for the Sega Game Gear, which are more common. Uh, I've never seen one for the Game Boy Advance, but. There's all the stuff in there, and I'm not gonna take everything out of the out of that part because it's kind of a pain to get back in. But very awesome. Never seen one before, so you know sometimes when you see stuff that you've never seen, you know might as well pick it up then. You might never see it again. Next up are a couple lanyards. Uh, the first one is this PS1 lanyard. PS1 and PS2, I should say. Very cool. The other one is a Nintendo one, and it has logos on here for SP, DS, GameCube, and that's it. <laughs> but there it is. Very cool. I have a couple other lanyards that I've gotten from them before, so these will be going in the stack with those other ones. Uh, next up is a system, and it's got both cables here. As you can tell, it's a Nintendo 64. Here is the controller, great joystick. So you can probably tell what it is. It's the Pikachu Nintendo 64. It's got just a regular jumper pack in there, but it's in great shape, and it does still have the sticker. And I think this one might be in better shape than the one in my collection, so I will be keeping, you know, whichever one's better, obviously. <coughs> Next up is a PS2 game that I've been wanting to get for a while, and I'm glad that I have it. Um, it is Vampire Knight, and this is the big box version which comes with the Gun Con controller. It's in great condition. Here's the game. Game is complete. Very awesome. And then under here is the Gun Con controller. Now, I already have Time Crisis 2 and Time Crisis 3 in these big oversized boxes with the guns, and I think there's still one or two more, uh, but Vampire Knight was one that I've been wanting to get. It's just an awesome name, and it looks like a really cool game, so I'm very glad to get this and not have to go on eBay for it. Uh, next up is a wall scroll for a GameCube game called Bat and Kados. And if you have been watching my videos for a while, you know that you'll know that I have that I already have one of these, but the one that I have has a different pattern on it. So here's this one. Very cool. Um, apparently there's they they made like two different versions and now I have both of them. So very awesome. 
This one, unfortunately, is missing the plastic rod that goes... Um, it, it's supposed to have two plastic rods. It's missing one of them um, and the string that goes through to hang it up, but still very awesome. Then another wall scroll here, which doesn't... I don't know if this one originally came with rods or not, but it's... If it did, it's missing them. And it's Dead or Alive Ultimate. There it is. This one's smaller, but still very cool. Next, uh, he kind of just threw this in for free. This is um, a Nintendo Power um, poster for Ogre Battle 64. Very cool. See, next up, he threw this in. It's a box and manual for Super Mario Advance 4, Mario Brothers 3. I do already have this game boxed, um, and I don't have a cartridge. I do. I have my own cartridge, but I don't have an, a, an extra one for this. But um, I'll just hold on to this until I get a cartridge, and then I can sell it as a complete copy. Next up is a factory-sealed Metroid Other M art folio. Um... I was interested in checking it out and opening it, but I think I'm just going to leave it sealed. Um, I mean, it's probably not worth much, but, you know, could be one day. Next up are some promo, some promo, like, window display pieces. They've got their baggie here. And these are for Mario vs. Donkey Kong Mini Land Mayhem. And I think these, yeah, these are like these are like uh, thick laminated stickers, basically, that you put like in the window or something. And um, I have some of these, I already have some of these for Donkey Kong Country Returns that I got from a store in Washington. And um, these ones still actually have all their backings on them, so they haven't been used yet. The Donkey Kong ones have, but these are very cool. So here's the first one here, which is the logo. Then we have a little one of Toad. Then we have this one of Mario. Then we have this one of, I guess, Daisy. Peach is blonde. We have a little Shy Guy. That one's very cool. One of Peach. Another one of Mario. And then this one here of Donkey Kong and Mario, this one's a little bigger. Very, very cool. <clears throat> um, I would like to put these up, but I don't want to take them off their uh, backings because if I stick them to the back of my door, they're going to be there for maybe a year and then I'll move or something. So I figured I'll just um, keep, them, keep them unused for now until I have a more permanent game room. Um, let's see, there's some games in here as well. Uh, first up, I got a couple Game Gear games, which I usually don't buy, but um, I got these ones just to put up on eBay. First is Shining Force, the Sword of Haya. Comes in a plastic case here. And then the other one is Bubble Bobble. And then he threw in three uh, Game Boy Advance games, which... If you remember a while ago, I picked up about, you know, like a huge a huge box of Game Boy Advance boxes and manuals. You can see some of them behind me here. I actually got them from this same guy, and he found some of the cartridges for me, and he actually threw them into this bundle for free, which is very awesome. So, these ones are all obviously for the collection. First up is Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. The Hobbit. And Frogger's Adventures. So very cool. Add three more Game Boy Advance games from the collection. Next are some Super Nintendo games. First up, Killer Instinct. Then we have Tecmo Super Bowl 3. Arcana. Super Mario World. Um, Donkey Kong Country. And this last one I actually needed because I have the box for it, but I didn't have the cartridge, and I'm very happy to finally have it. And that is Mario is Missing. So very cool to 
to add that game to the collection. Then we have some NES games. First up, TMNT. TMNT 2, the arcade game. And Super Mario Brothers 3. And I actually got an NES system with that. And it came with a black quick shot arcade stick. Came with one official controller here. Comes with a third party power adapter. The RF adapter. Gray zapper gun. Came with a dog bone controller. And here's the system. It is another top loader. So I actually have two of these now that will be going up on eBay um, shortly. Um, <clears throat> I don't know exactly when I'm putting them up, so if you're interested, just keep checking back. But I do have two of them now, each with their own dog bone. And the last stuff that I got from them is some big uh, standee stuff, which I'll try and show you the best I can. Um, I'll try to save the best for last. There's, I think, four different things here, or from four different games. Um, I have most of the standee for this, except for the, the big backing part. But as you can see here, it says only for Xbox 360. So that's the first piece. Put it over there. And this is going to give it away. But here's one of the little characters. Uh, where is the other? Here's <laughs> giving it away. Viva Pinata. Big piece here. And then here's the base for the whole thing. This one's really big. And then. One more character, this big guy here, very big. And then, let's see, he said this is, uh, he said he thinks this one's homemade, but it's a Game & Watch hammer. Excuse me, I'm still a little bit sick here. Ugh. Next up is Star Fox. Very, very cool. He's in his ship here. There he is. That one's pretty cool. I'll try and find a place for that. Uh, next up is Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. This is obviously for the blue rescue team. Because it's blue. So this is for the DS game. Um, it has two little flaps on the back here. So it did go to something. But, like I said, these are just pieces of the standees, not the full standees. Next up, we have this one, which is a bunch of DS games. A bunch of Mario DS games. And then, and that one kind of folds in half there. Then the two coolest ones, we have this Mario logo, which has flaps on the back um, with little notches in them, so I might be able to find somewhere to stand that up and the coolest one is a giant Mario and here he is he's folded in half right here but I think it came like that and then here he is holding a big stack of DS games and <laughs> for some reason he has like three copies of Mario Kart DS and he has multiple copies of his games which I think is kinda of funny they should have been able to find more games to put on there, but very, very cool. I will try and find a place for this. Um, I don't I don't really have any room on my walls in the game room anymore because they're all taken up by shelves, which you will see soon in my room tour, um, which will be coming right after the, the drawing of the contest, so stay tuned for that. But I'm thinking about talking to Cassidy and seeing if he minds. Um, Maybe putting some of the stuff up in the living room. I don't know, though. Um, it might look kind of weird in there, but, you know. Um, if not, I'll just keep it stored until I actually have a place to put it, which will be very awesome. So, for all the stuff from them, 
that includes the top loader, the Pikachu system, the games, the standees, all the promo stuff, the lanyards, um, the Vampire Knight, the Taco Bell Nintendo 64 toys, um, the Game Boy Advance TV thing, all the stuff. Um, I paid. There's two different. There's two different bundles. One of them I paid 140. One of them I paid 130. So total of 270. Uh, not bad. They have some more stuff that I'm really interested in that I'm hoping to pick up in the future. I didn't want to spend too much money though, because I am, you know, trying to save money to go home for Christmas and go game hunting with non-tubers and everything. So I had to pass on some stuff for now, but I might pick it up in the future. So I guess stay tuned, and hopefully you can see some some of that stuff later. But that's it for this pickup video. Um, it's probably run on too long now, so I'm gonna cut it off short. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.